On average, that's what it costs owners to work with brokers who don't cooperate with the rest of the brokerage community. Think about it. When a broker says they know all the buyers for a property, do they really? With 65% of buyers coming from out of market, many of who are new to commercial real estate, how could they? 250 years ago, Adam Smith wrote down the basic laws of supply and demand. The higher the demand for a product, the higher the sales price. This sounds like common sense. Marketing a property to the widest possible audience increases the price for an owner. This is how SVN Advisors operate. We share fees. But we didn't want to rely solely on the biased results of our satisfied clients to prove that our system works, and so here's what we did. In 2015, SVN worked with a team of economists to analyze 15,000 sales records in 10 states, spanning 10 years in the four core building types industrial, multifamily, office, and retail. All transactions were between two and a half and $20 million and had at least one brokerage firm involved. The results? They show that the average price per square foot was higher in every asset class for deals involving two separate brokerage firms. And in fact, on aggregate, the average selling price was 9.6% higher with brokerage cooperation. 9.6%. So the next time you're selling a property, consider a company that understands the value not only of 9.6%, but of working with the entire brokerage ecosystem. SVN Advisors create amazing value by working with our clients, colleagues, and communities. Visit us at svn.com to find out more.